Hey, it's Daniel from VoiceFlow. In this template, we're going to show you how to create a chatbot that's able to understand user sentiment and then actually respond by looking through your documentation and answering their question. So here I've got a little chatbot on the corner of my fake app. And so in here, I'm going to go ahead and say something like, I really love this app. How do I upgrade? And so what's happening behind the scenes is our AI steps are reading this message. They're determining the user sentiment. Then they're looking through all of our documentation and we're actually responding with instructions on how to do that. And so you can see here that I've got, got this first message that says, we're glad you enjoyed the app. Let's get you upgraded right away. And then I've got a number of instructions on how do I actually upgrade. So let's go ahead and ask another question here. So let's restart this and say, um, I hate this app. It has so many bugs. Bugs, how do I cancel my account? So now you'll see it does the opposite where it's reading this, obviously the sentiment is negative, so it's gonna respond with that, and then it's gonna look through our documentation and find out how to cancel. Awesome. So you can see here um, that I've got some pretty clear instructions and I've also got a, a nice reassuring message, almost like I'm talking to a human. And so now I'm gonna show you how to do this when we go over to our uh, web chat project here and let's go ahead and check it out. Now you can do this on anything from WhatsApp to SMS, whatever you'd like, but here, here's a template that you're gonna use regardless of what channel you're pushing to. So in this template, we've got a couple of core steps. So at the foundation here, we're using the AI step. So this is the response AI step and the set AI step to actually uh, process our actions. So the first one is we've got the set AI step here. I've chosen to have it look at a general AI model and saying based on the user's last utterance, uh, determine what their sentiment is and then save it into the sentiment variable. From there, I have a response uh, AI step that is using a general AI model that says, based on their sentiment, respond with a sentence that can comfort them and give them some encouragement. And then right after that, I've got my response AI step where I choose the knowledge base as the data source. And I say, please answer the user's question in a step-by-step -step format. So fairly simple, you can kind of download this and just drop this into your project. The main thing you want to do is upload your documents to the knowledge base. So in the knowledge base, I've got a ton of documents here from simpleanalytics.com and then bare metrics. Um, you can go ahead and put in your website. So if you go at data source, you can either just use a sitemap and uh, scrape all the documents, or you can just add your URL. So once you've done those, it'll be able to populate here and then you're ready to go. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit us up through our own support assistant that's powered by VoiceFlow in the bottom right hand corner here to be able to submit tickets or talk to our team and check out some of the other templates that are involved to see how you can build a more advanced assistant.